I got about 10 minutes waiting on the oven to heat up. So I figured I'd take this time, do a short video on this Rubicon rear diff brace that everybody's been asking about. I'm gonna do my best to cover everything and try to get the best video I can so everybody can see exactly what it is and what they'll be getting. Number one thing I want everyone to understand is we're gonna post them tonight for sale, but it's gonna be a pre-order sale. So we may have these things ready to go in a week. We may have them ready to go in a day. It may be another month before we're happy with it. Uh, we're gonna send two out to be tested to local guys. And if everything works out good and they don't have any problems and we don't have to change anything, we should have them ready to go within a week or we should start cutting them within a week. Next thing, ne the next biggest thing would be the pricing. So I've got two sheets left of 3 16 plates. They're two, two foot by four foot sheets. I'm gonna cut as many of these braces out of those two sheets as I can. I bought them sheets like four months ago for a personal project and never used it. Since then, metal has like doubled, tripled, and quadrupled like it seems. Uh, everything's went up for metal. So I'm gonna base this pre-order sale price off of not even counting the cost of metal because I know I got that way cheaper than what it is at the moment. Now I've ordered two more sheets of 3 16 plate and once we run out of this plate that I have, I'll start cutting them out of the new and then the price will go up. So I don't know how many we'll be able to get out of these sheets, but I'm gonna cut as many as we can. And then once those are sold out, the pre-order sale will be over. Uh, but until that point, I'll keep the pre-order sale price uh, until we run out. Uh, the one that I'm gonna video is not powder coated. We literally just pulled it off the frame. Uh, it's been bolted up for a day now. And we just, I just didn't have a chance to pull it off and powder coat it. Uh, they will come powder coated black. Custom colors will be available. And that should be about it. So let's jump over here and take a look at it. I'm gonna do my best to kind of stay out of the picture. So maybe everyone can kind of catch everything. Uh, basically, take out your rear diff bolt. You'll take out this one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Five diff bolts you'll take out and you'll take this loose. Uh, all this stuff's kind of already loose on mine. So you, if you have an impact, it might be good to kind of use it to break everything loose. If not, a ratchet will work. But Let's get it all tore apart and I'll show you how I put it on. Now the rear diff bolt does have a bushing on, on the back side of it. We're gonna have to have some bushings machined. The first couple we send out, we'll, we'll probably just cut some pipe just so they can be tested. Uh, we're probably gonna order a lathe Monday morning. So first thing in the morning, we'll order a lathe so we can start turning our own bushings. That's also gonna play a role in the timeline on when we actually can ship these out. I would expect us to be able to get a lathe within a week, I would imagine. If it looks like it's gonna be over a week, we'll probably just go to the local machine shop and I'll just eat whatever they wanna to charge to turn down some bushings. But I know they get $100 an hour, so I can just imagine the price of them turning down some bushings. I already know when I pull this bolt out, this diff's gonna spring a little bit. I don't know if everyone's is gonna spring or if it's just this one because this bike was in such rough shape. Part of the reason we're sending two different brackets out to be tested, I wanna make sure that everybody's kind of getting the same thing and there's no alignment issues. Anytime we build around these old parts bikes that's kind of had a rough past, I never really know if everything is perfect on it as far as alignment. So we kind of like to test it just to make sure. This will be the hardest bolt on the whole deal. It is the hardest one to get to because the impact really doesn't want to fit it. You may need a 12 millimeter wrench. I know the last time we put this brace in, it just seemed a lot easier just to get a wrench and just go ahead and take the time to wrench it. So I'll probably go ahead and grab one and just knock it off.
with a wrench real fast. Since I don't have a drive shaft and everything's kind of loose on this, I can kind of cheat and roll my diff up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cheat just to knock this on off because the oven should be clicking off any minute now. And I really need to get some stuff in the oven. So once you get all that off, uh, you can do this in any order. Take this, this off will be your last one. You'll want to slide that back a little bit. Take your bracket. It seems to be easiest to bring it in through here and kind of bring it around and then kind of work it in and work it down. I'm not saying that's the best way. I'm just saying it seems to work out pretty decent for us. Like I said in the beginning, when we took this diff loose, it sprung forward some. I did loosen the front diff bolt just so everything could kind of wiggle. I don't know if everybody's diff is going to kind of spring forward a little bit or not, but this one did spring forward. So if yours do does, you'll probably want to start this back bolt before you start anything else. That way you can wiggle it and get it into place. Now, for some reason it fell right back into place, but before it wasn't. Go ahead and start all these, get all them kind of halfway lined up in place. This is all a pretty tight fit, so make sure you don't cross thread anything. Like I said, these bottom two bolts will be the hardest. Uh, smaller hands sure does make it nice. So if you got a kid or something, you may want to get them to start the bottom two. Once you get everything kind of started, kind of come through, push the bottom bolt in there. Then you're ready to torque everything down. Now you can look up the proper torque specs for this. I have no clue what they are. I use a little impact, run them all in, but it might not hurt to look up the torque specs. Make sure you don't crack your, crack your housing. I know if you over torque it, that aluminum will give. But for this one, we're just gonna run it down. Like I said, that bolt's gonna be your hardest one through the whole deal. You'll have to get in here and ratchet the whole thing in there. Uh, now I'm not gonna sit here and do it because we gotta pull this bracket back off and powder coat it so we can take pictures for the website, but that'd be your hardest bolt on the whole thing. The next big deal about this is the clearance on what I'm guessing is for a plastic skid plate deal on this little tab down here. I'll try to get the camera and position it so you can see. It looks like if there is a bolt that goes through there, if it's over flush of the nut that's welded to the tab, there could be some clearance issues. Also, another reason we're gonna ship two out, we wanna double check and make sure if it is, how much needs to be ground off of the bolt because I've about took everything I could take off the bracket. I really don't wanna take any more off the bracket. So if there is a clearance issue, may have to take the bolt out, kind of grind the head down a little bit. Just like I said, another reason we're gonna ship two out to be for sure. I'll try to get the camera angled. So maybe you can see what I'm talking about. But if it'll zoom, the little tab right here, I'm guessing is for a plastic skid or, I, that's can, the only thing that I can imagine. 
would be for a plastic skid plate. It looks like there could be some clearance issues if you still have that skid plate. We'll know more on that. And hopefully by the time we get ready to actually start shipping them, we got a bunch of information that we can put out there. So if you do want to wait and for all the information to be out there for your order, no big deal, but I really need everybody to understand when those two sheets, the 3 16th plate is gone, the price is going to go up. And I ordered more the other day, but they didn't tell me a price. I normally just call and when it's ready, I go pick it up. And here lately, I don't even look at the ticket. I swipe the card and hope and pray it didn't double and triple that day. So that should cover everything on it. If you got any questions, send a message. My wife will do the best to answer it. If she can't, she'll ask me that night and then I'll answer it. So until next time.